click the report it tab right there on our mobile app. There's a lot of things that we look into for Yeah, people. we look into stories of inspiration mm -hmm, and good mm -hmm. stories like that as well, not just investigations. Right. Hard and, okay, Kristen. Thursday morning is when we have to start watching out for the ice. Yeah, so a storm system moving in very early Thursday, and then all through the day it's going to be playing out, especially across Portland Metro and the Gorge. 38 degrees out there right now. We're dry tonight, and we're dry all day Wednesday, uh, but temperatures will drop quite a bit farther tonight than what they did last night. So we're already close to freezing in Hillsborough, Newburgh, uh, back towards uh, Beaverton, Sherwood in the mid-30s, mid-30s in West Lynn, uh, East Siders, temperatures in the mid-30s in Gresham, Happy Valley, already down to 32 and battleground at 35 right now. Vancouver still in the upper 30s. So here's how it plays out this evening. Bundle up temperatures at, by 9 o'clock for at the freezing mark for many of us. So temps are falling quickly and by 11 p.m. many of us are starting to see that slide into the 20s and then we'll eventually get there in Portland with a low tonight of 27 degrees. We'll start off tomorrow morning in the 20s outside some fog. We'll start with the sunshine. It'll be a nice start but then by the time we get into the afternoon the winds start to pick up. We may see some gusts up near 25, even 30 miles an hour by afternoon. That'll make it feel like it's in the 20s tomorrow. So the farther east you are in the metro, uh, the more blustery it's going to get and the colder it's going to feel. We'll top out only in the upper 30s. Today we made it into the 40s. So again, it'll be quite a bit colder tomorrow night. And then there's that low tonight, 27 degrees for Portland. Winter storm watches have been issued all up and down the valley from the coast range to the Cascades. Uh, as you get south of Portland metro, farther south down towards Salem and South Valley, winter storm watches only go into effect until noon uh, because we're going to see the storm lifting in from south to north and we're going to see things start to warm up a little more uh, for those areas. You get up towards Portland Metro, especially out through the gorge. Uh, we have winter storm watches in effect until 9 p.m. on Thursday or 6 p.m. I should say on Thursday and that is because we're going to have that east wind continuing to pump in uh, the colder air to keep a prolonged period of icy conditions for some of us. This is a storm system that's moving in and this one is going to bring in a lot more moisture moisture is still organizing itself. So uh, there still could be some changes as far as timing and even as far as when we start to see the switch over, uh, say from rain uh, from snow to freezing rain and to eventually rain. The gorge will see the biggest impacts out of this system. Prepare for the gorge to just be a mess on Thursday. So Starting early Thursday morning, uh, we're going to see snow. It'll be heavy at times. Winds will be picking up, especially as you get west of Hood River. We may see some gusts up near 55, 60 miles an hour. Uh, places like Crown Point, the typical places where we get those easterly winds. So the heaviest gusts will be west on western ends of the gorge. You get towards Hood River, the gusts won't be quite that strong. Noon to afternoon, we continue to get the snow coming down, and eventually it starts to switch over to sleet, so ice pellets. Four to eight inches, uh, what we're looking for through the gorge. The wind continues. By evening, the wind and the sleet starts to taper, but the roads will likely remain icy as temperatures remain at freezing through Thursday night. For the Portland metro area, this is what we're looking at at this point. For the morning, snow will start to develop. We may be able to pick up a quick one to maybe even two inches. Some areas maybe more. A gust will be up near 40 miles an hour, especially as you head east. By the time we hit the lunch hour and into afternoon, we start to see that transition from snow to sleet and eventually to freezing rain. There's a potential we could see a quarter of an inch of ice on top of the snow that comes down. By evening, temperatures start to rise, and we should see the freezing rain change over to just a plain old cold rain, and that should help clear the roads out and thaw things out. Winds start to taper too, so hopefully by Thursday evening we're done with the mess in the metro area. We'll be watching it closely. Those east winds just have to lose their grips over us, over the Portland metro. So 5:30 Thursday morning, here comes the moisture. It's moving on in. Uh, Thursday 8:30, you can see the snow here in Portland. Uh, by noon, we're seeing snow, and then that switch over to sleet and eventually freezing rain as we go into the afternoon. So that's how it's looking to play out for Thursday, and again by. Thursday night, uh, we're looking at milder temperatures back into the upper 30s. And then Friday through the weekend, highs in the 40s, and we're back to just rain and no problem. So keep a close eye on Thursday morning and the Thursday afternoon. Both commutes could be tricky, but Thursday afternoon's commute might be the worst of the two, oh, yeah. wow. especially if that cold hangs on. Yeah, whenever we say when we get back to the rain, then no problems, you know we're talking about cold weather. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, A lot thanks. to keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kristen. Okay, you got